Then, man, after that, you start taking it serious. Did you? Yeah, yeah. Did you just go like get into the studio? Did you get equipment? What you did next after that? Oh shit! I came home. I came home. Then I started. I started going to school down here, yeah. and I'm working because I'm trying to. You know what I'm saying? Fun this rap shit. So I just remember I was like, damn, bro, this school shit ain't gonna. It ain't gonna. It ain't gonna pan. But I'm still trying to think of that. So at the same time, I'm working. I'm I'm paying for studio time and shit. I'm. Putting it all in this motherfucker. I'm going, I'm starving, nigga, putting it in this tape. And that shit, the way it happened, bro, I was at work, bro, and I just remember some shit happened. It was like a Houston for Haiti concert Bumby had. Mm -hmm. And I remember VY was like cool with me. He wanted VY to come out. And I VY ended up getting it to where I can like perform and shit. So I called in work, like, man, I'm sick. I got the flu, I can't come. Bro, that shit was on the news. And like, I'm on that motherfucker rapping. And they thinking I'm, you know what I'm saying? Six, so I get back to work. They're like, damn, I thought you was sick, nigga. You, sick, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, man. So that was like the, that was like my first introduction to like, fuck this shit. I'm just yeah. letting niggas know. I, I was still working on that mixtape of that and came out. Yeah, I was just working on it, working on it. So when I put that shit out, that's when like Twitter was like fresh. And I remember that nigga, uh, once I did put it out, I'm passing out throughout the city. Me and my nigga every night. We going out to the club, passing them bitches out. Nigga, I don't give a fuck if they throwing on the ground, picking that bitch up, giving it to the next nigga. Every night we was doing that. So I kind of started to get a little name around the city just on some underground shit. And uh, that nigga Chameleon there had uh, just tweeted like, man, who who in who in Texas I should be fucking with? You know what I'm saying? And I probably had like 300, 400 followers on Twitter at the time. Mm -hmm. and, but the people who was fucking with my music just kept tweeting him. And I remember that nigga, he tweeted a couple rappers, and most of them niggas was known, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. And I remember he was just like, but who the fuck is this propane nigga everybody keep talking about? Mm -hmm. And from there, he named the like, like four artists that everybody was naming. And I just remember like niggas going hard on me, like bad, like, we don't know no fucking propane, who is this nigga? So niggas nah, was mad, but niggas what that did. shit had did was, it made everybody start talking about me. My following went from like 300 followers to like 6,000 followers, just off that shit right there. So that the name started right there, and then... Man, we started doing some shit called a Frontline Tour where we was, like, uh, selling tickets. This was, We ain't really had no underground scene in Houston, bro. And we was selling tickets. Shout out, uh, yeah. Kirk O'Bangs, D-Lo. It was a few niggas. B Do Beezy was Do, Do Beezy around But Dope Beezy, he, yeah. he came a little later. But okay. in, the, in the store, yeah, we would be selling them tickets, bro. Yeah. And so next thing you know, like, man, we packing out House of Blues. You know what I'm saying? So that yeah. was kind of the start of making my own fan base. And from there, yeah. like, shit, it just... I, my song got on the radio, like, yeah. like that. You know what I'm saying? And That's shit, it, it kind of took off. Yeah, yeah. And see, for people that don't know, this is a different era of your other underground scene that I that the world knew was for. Right, right. From the screwed up click mm -hmm. to the to the uh, rap a lot to Swisher House and right. other names that a lot of people in the world became fans of. That went once that era kind of ended. Yeah. It was like we was like, what's next what's for a while? Yeah, we right, didn't bro. have no like you're niggas right. that was kind of like fucking with the upcoming generation. Yeah. So niggas had to really put their footwork and they like, grind real, in and, and make this shit work off for them niggas to get that shit rolling. I remember Beat King was going crazy. Beat King at the club and the party yeah, scene going wild. So, and I remember so. seeing your shit. I just remember seeing you doing a lot of uh, shows and shit with a lot of Rockets gear. Like a motherfucker. A lot of red and yellow type <laughs> shit. You was like stuck. And then even with your early videos, it was like you was stuck on the like Houston shit. Man, <laughs> so you know you know what made me do that, bro? Yeah. So I had a song called Say I Won't. That was the first song that was on the radio. It was like 2011. Yeah. And the video I had like a Orlando Magic hat on or something, man. Mm -hmm. Man, so you know Houston, like we, and I got like a strong Hispanic fan base. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And one thing, if you know anything about Houston Hispanics, they ride for fucking Houston teams, bro. Nah, facts. You know what I'm saying? And I was a nigga who just, I had every hat, every Jordans. I always been like that. I just, man, them niggas tore my ass up on that video and them comments. Man, what the fuck this nigga got that hat on for? Man, this nigga ain't repping the city. So, and then I fuck around and wore a Cowboys hat, bro, to the car show. Bro, Ooh. they fired me up. I didn't really know. Like, I'm like, nigga, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just rocking shit, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Them niggas, so from then on, I was like, these niggas won't catch me without no Houston shit on ever again, bro. So what did these niggas say when they seen you with the cowboy shit on, bro? I, even, even, even the niggas from the radio, when they was interviewing me on yeah. 97.9, was going in like, damn, I see you up here with the cowboy shit, what's up with that? Yeah. And I'm like, I don't even really watch football, bro. I'm like, nigga, what's, what the fuck, nigga, what's yeah. wrong? You know what I'm saying? But they was like, nah, this nigga got on the cowboy. So I, I, at that point, I was like, 
it was it's bigger than me. You know what I'm saying? If mm -hmm. they see me as a representation of my city, like they looking for me to rip this shit. So I'll be like, damn, all right, bitch. Got you, got you, got you. And it wasn't nothing wrong with it, but that shit just really stood out. Cause that's what niggas was really supposed to be doing. Fact. You know what I'm saying? Taking pride in the yeah, city, yeah, repping the sure, city sure. and everything like that. 